as part of measures to harmonize tax administration, raise system efficiency and profile solution to challenges of multiple taxation, the Lagos State Government has signed a bilateral agreement with the federal government. Governor Babajide Saolu presided over the signing ceremony of a Memorandum of Understanding on Collaboration between the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, and the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS. Governor Saolu disclosed that the MOU was aimed at establishing a joint task tax audit system that would address duplication of efforts and facilitate exchange of data that are relevant to enforcement, the enforcement of extant tax laws. The governor observed that Nigeria has maintained an unimpressive tax to GDP ratio of between 6 to 8 percent despite the yearly record-breaking turnovers by both FIRS and LIRS. The benefit that we see our citizens also getting, right? Like we said, there's going to be a, a, a better, you know, cost reduction in tax, you know, um, administration. There's going to be better efficiency. You know, we we don't have to, you know, go on on different, you know, inspection to 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 different, you know, um, organizations or individuals. All of that can and data will be data which is critical will be shared between the two of them, you know. And what do we see at the end of the day? We see a, a more efficient tax administration. We see a better GDP growth of you know federal government and the state government. And eventually, it is the citizens that benefit from it. You know, government will have a bit more resources to be able to do the things for which it has promised its citizens. You know, and like I said, it will be clear. It will be obvious for everyone to see, and we can hold ourselves, you know, accountable. To we know the practice in Nigeria. A lot of the high net worth individuals make a lot of their personal expenditure through their corporate accounts. Now the states are not empowered to look into the affairs of corporate entities. We can only look into the affairs of individuals. Thereby the states lose a lot of revenue. And this revenue is very important, you know, for the provision of critical in infrastructure. There's a huge inf infrastructure gap in a state like Lagos where we have about 25 million people and you know the funding is quite limited. The state is really, really stretched. The good uh, government of uh, Mr. Babajide Sangwolu, you know, has a lot of good plans for the state, but without the funding, it becomes difficult. You know, not just to provide infrastructure, but also to provide qualitative uh, services like you know education services, that of health, that is needed. Revenue to GDP currently is at 6%, and that's awful. The lowest in the world. We cannot be proud of that. Uh, the current National Development Plan's target is to grow it to 15%, at least by 2025. And what we have done today is a step in the right uh, direction. And like I did say a while ago, I am looking forward to other states joining in this good uh, initiative so that it will be better for all of our citizens. Infrastructure is critical. You know, I live in Lagos. Some presidential candidates live in Lagos. You know, they cannot afford to stay in their states because of uh, a lack of infrastructure. So, and that is why we need to see other states, including Anambra, uh, do this so that they can raise revenue and also develop their states.